Mm. Nara, just, what, what are you doing? Can't you smell it? Smell what? The wonderful smell of pumpkin spice in the air. Uh, pumpkin spice isn't really all that popular in the UK. Uh, it's your loss. <laughs> <laughs> Nars? Nars? Are you okay? No, this table is really dusty. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm gonna sneeze at you. <laughs> Goodness! <laughs> well, on that note, it's time for another installment of the CDNN. First up, our team takes us to the Iron Giant. XP, at least get the name right. It's the Iron Coil. Now people see what I have to work with. Take it away. Greetings, Montanida, and welcome at the Iron Coil. It's great to be here, Ellis. Thanks for showing us around. So, I mean, first of all, what is this place? What does it do? This place is a place of lore, magic, and storytelling. You see, we had uh, the first great storm that took down the server and the connection was uh, very wonky and everything in bit. Uh, and then the second wave. For this, the iron coil of stable resonance was built. You see, at the corners, we have iron bound in red. Like, oh, yeah. Con congrats to anyone who gets a joke. <laughs> 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 who direct the energy from the elemental crystals. One for each ancient element, fire, earth, wind, and water. Uh, through the golems and the red and blue antennas. Up, up, up. The whole way to the very coil. A little steampunky of a build. And you see the beam going up. It is support, uh, supposed in law to support the server to make it stable again. Absolutely beautiful. That's what people don't really know, right? They, they think it's just the admins working on things, but... The iron coil, it's been it's been doing work as well, right? To keep the servers running. It has been uh, up and running since the very first start. And if we go down and go into the bowels of the machine, so to speak, you see, there's very much heat generated that needs to be vented outwards. <laughs> Above the dispensers um, and pistons, you see the pumps working. Oh, yeah. Wow. Mm. It's a really cool design. A little trick for beat-ups. And in here, first of all, the little machine that starts the beam. Normally you have the lights going on and uh, and around and around and around, but the item despawned. I need to think of a better system to make the <laughs> stable coil more stable. <laughs> That'll help. Oh, it's just stunning. There's There's so many parts to this build, it feels very alive. To make this place not just boring to walk around, visit once, and then, yeah, leave it, there is a little game going on if you want to participate. At phome, alismatherium one dot iron coil. Uh -huh. um, but it is basically, so uh, it goes basically that way. You have three tiers of sacrificial items. Tier one is the iron bar. Tier 2 is the pointed dripstone, and tier 3 is the android. If placed, each and every one of them kind of looks like a spike, a leg spike. Before I tell you where, uh, when you should sacrifice what, I'll show you where you should sacrifice it. Are we going through this beautiful forest over here as well? Oh, very much so. Uh, it is not done on the right side, but on the left side we can take a little stroll through it if you want to. Animals are... Re, re inhabiting the ver these very grounds. Yeah, a lovely biodiversity here. Indeed. And then you come up, uh, you come out at this little tower. Now, beside this little tower, you see, maybe if you don't close your eyes too much, a little spike. The leg oh spike. Oh my goodness! Wow. This is a sacred lag spike. It gives the energy 
to the other crystals that, th uh, that then in themselves power the coil. To fight the lag, of course. And the lightning is charging up the lag spike and it's a whole thing. The, the whole energy system is messed up to the bone, I tell you. Wow, it looks stunning though, you know? Thank you very much. Now, here you are supposed to sacrifice these tiered items. You can, of course, sacrifice more. These items I will show you with a golden carrot. The carrot will then be dispensed out of the oh, pipe. There and... it goes. Oh my goodness, that's a big drop. So the items are actually destroyed. So really only uh, sacrifice what you can spare. You sacrifice the tier 1 item when you experience a lag of any kind. But the other items, if you join the game, they are needed. To, uh, to be sacrificed. The dripstone, the point of dripstone you are uh, sacrificing when you get kicked to the lobby. Ah, okay. Each and every time. So you better stock up on these and if storms will come again, uh, should come again at any time and you get kicked entirely from the server, then you are supposed to uh, sacrifice an android. I have my stock of androids here here with the dripstones and the iron bars. You see, it is very much uh, still a build in progress. <laughs> the giant shulker monster here, I like it. Of course, uh, nothing goes without a shulker monster. <laughs> Definitely not. You know it's a good project when you've got one of these. A, fur a further project or fu further plans are, you see these bubbles around the blue, around the water crystals? Well, there's something in those. You got guardians up there? Guardians, delivered by Xam, who also helped with the law and the idea, and I needed to shout out Xam earlier, sorry. Uh, at least, at least 99.5%, if not much more, uh, of the idea are from Xam. The uh, elemental animals around the earth uh, crystal are also in. These, these were the easiest. Just plop down some eggs. Oh, that's hilarious. That... <laughs> They're just chilling up there. They're having a great time. No, they have a great view. They do. They do. <laughs> and blazes and delays will also be added. If you want to, I can show you a secret, but don't tell Ethel. Oh, definitely not. Oh no, wait. Is it? Is it what I think it is? <gasps> oh, it is. It's hollow. Oh my goodness. The whole, the whole shebang. <laughs> up. It has a uh, historic value to the build. It was the pre previous place of the Shulker monster. Here is where everything began. So to fill it up, uh, it was a bit wrong for me. Felt a bit yes, wrong. that's fair enough. And and at the end of the day, right, nobody's going to really see this anyway. Um, so it's a lot of effort for something not very important. A little secret just be uh, between you and me. Yeah, you, me, <laughs> and then the hundreds of people that will watch this. <laughs> 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 Come and visit us anytime. We ha we are happy to have visitors, and if you want to join the game, that's even better. It's great to show it off. I love that it's got a a lot of lore to it, and that you've also made something fun out of a situation that's not so fun. You know, it's not fun when you get kicked out the server or kicked to the lobby, but when you come back and you do this, you know that that makes it a little bit better, right? Indeed. Also, if everyone gets kicked to the lobby, we can have a great meetup at the Iron uh, at the Iron Call. Have a little oh, chat. Oh yeah, a special <laughs> ceremony. <laughs> Indeed, <laughs> Give me a lot of sacrifices. Is. Well, thank you so much, Alice. Really appreciate you showing us around here. No worries. Always. <laughs> See you next time. See ya. Well, that is an exciting thing, is it not? Great job from Alice there. I agree. Terribly captivating. Awfully so. Absolutely and positively rambunctious. You can really tell the different writers apart, can't you? Yeah, I would literally never talk like that in any other context. Anyway, here on the CDNN, we love touring people's bases, which is why we are now joining Canadian Steampunk, a longtime player here on Dogcraft, to tour one of his latest builds. We sent a field reporter to join him.
Let's be real. It's probably you. Yeah, it's almost definitely me. Do we do we know when this guy is showing up at all or Hello. Oh hello. Welcome to welcome to the Pine Fox Inn. It's a small area actually connected to uh, the Broken Tower Guild. Well, one thing, this area we are standing in is actually a small little thing that I made. I call it the Pine Fox Inn for people when they visit. Because this section of the Broken Tower uh, Guild area is kind of the best way to describe a connection center for all forms of transport. Currently, only two of them are fully connected, but hopefully in the future, the the other two, which are the CSC and the SRN, which when it is possible, I will help hopefully get those connected. This is the little CSC boathouse. Oh, and it has the automatic boat dispensers as well. Yes. I like yeah. the buoy with the soul lantern. A lot of the, a lot of the places using deep slate, spruce, and uh, mangrove. So it seemed like a smart idea to make the buoys kind of match with some of the details. I can quickly show you the small stable. It's a nice small stable, but it can hold a few horses. This is for the uh, road and horse network uh, for the people that bring horses in. If people decide to take the hor you know, their horses to this area, at least there's a nice space for them to sit. There's even some small stuff upstairs that if anyone wants to grab, but anyone that visits can look at that. Very cool, very cool. There's secrets around this area, just to let you know. But I best to say that like, if anyone wants to visit in this section, they can look for it as well. This little area is for actually the uh, rails, the SRN. I already have the building built, but it is currently obviously in uh, pause mode until everything is done. Oh, and the view is nice too. Yeah. There are a couple places that have this big map up here as well. Yeah, I made sure to make like multiples. So this is actually a pretty sp a sprawling area. Yeah, some of it's spaced out, but a lot of it has some details. And up here will technically be where the last transport, but also where the main area is. Here is the lovely NTN portal. Is that a, is a Canadian flag for Canadian steampunk? Well, yeah. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Here is the main building. Very cool. I've been working on this project since March because I wanted to do something very special. Since if you... March? So that's six months? Wait. Uh, about. Very cool. Yeah. It's an impressive project for that long. I mean, it was yeah. this was all just you, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, it is just me, but one thing I will be... I will have assistance with someone in the future with uh, one thing because I have a good majority, but there are still small things that I still need to work on. But I got some of the key stuff that I want to say. So this is this has a pee home and everything for it. Who did yes. you build this for? Like who who are the people that you expect to come here? The best way to describe this place for people. This is a place to, best way to describe the Broken Tower Guild is to gather people to get themselves ready for hypothetical instances because because everyone knows, sadly, the server has one small hiccup with wardens. When they spawn, they don't despawn. So normally it, it would be a problem if like, let's say a group of people, you know, ends up and maybe the person that they're teleporting to has only one more before one spawns and then, you know, they get nervous and then they acti accidentally activate more. Yeah. So this is a uh, this is a gathering place. So to yeah. say. this is a uh, yeah, safe like space a... where they can set their spawn, or they can use. You have ports for every single method of transport. Yeah. Um, also, a way to prep because this place with this lovely guild, there was actually even some other detail. Mm -hmm. uh, if you come inside, I could show you some of the amenities. A small right over here, a small lovely section for potion brewing. And if they want to even donate some materials, be it potions or even some other stuff, like, you know, to help for others, I would, it will be very helpful. A small little enchanting setup. There's even a small back right here. If anyone gets like some 
books that they think is reasonable but they don't want they could just put here and maybe someone else man mm -hmm. wants to grab it they can grab one other small detail if you come down here is the training and weapons room there are two forms there's armor like basic armor for iron and over here we'll have some equipment for like bows and swords still cool. in the early thing mm -hmm. but currently it has a lot of arrows and swords and down here is one of the special details the training room oh look at this oh this is proper fancy good quality yeah. sand yeah but there is also a special fit there's a special detail with this area this is currently this is training room mode but if you flip this lever, archery mode. Oh, is archery mode. So this comes up so you can't go there. Oh, and there's yeah. like some real depth back there too. There's a reason for that. That actually is to practice because behind those two, uh, there's a lever all the way down there that if you mm -hmm. flip it, there's actually doors behind there to bring a skeleton because it is actually far enough. So if you want to get the sniper duel advancement oh interesting yeah so this leads outside the stores for skeletons to get oh so you can lead skeletons in here shut yeah. them in yep because one thing the forest right here a good majority of it's lit up but there is still a dark area to also for people to train a little bit right 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 there's even Very some cool other cool. there's even some small basic amenities like you know if you want to maybe just visit because it's like it doesn't have just have to be hunting because like look there's a lovely lake on this mountain that you can actually fish if you want to just rent you know nice just fish for a little bit if they wanted to go on their fishing era yeah and if anyone's wondering why there is a mysterious lake on top of a mountain there's a small detail if you that's in the water that is some there, there's something that's in there that caused it but that's oh, more spooky. of a lore thing that's more of a lore thing when if people want to see one other small detail before uh, continuing with any questions you want to say is that i have an area for if anyone visits they can technically even get books and even trade stone in there's a lovely little village for people oh, just to you visit. have a trader area over here clerics Oh, clerics are good. Over here, Mason. So if anyone's mining has a crazy ton of stone, they can trade it for emeralds. Very good. And the uh, last of all, currently, there's also even the librarians. Oh, librarians. You've got a library going on. Yep. Very cool. Which has, which has a lot of the good uh, primary and secondary books. But so they can just use this whenever they want. It's for free. Yeah. It's like... You don't have to, like, the guild, is, this place is not like you have to uh, sign up or anything. This is a place to, you know, if anyone wants to visit, to gather, to plan, and sorts, this is a place for people to, you know. Did you have any inspirations for this? Uh, two, actually, two things mm -hmm. inspired me this. One is because the concept for, you know, people gathering, because sometimes I thought we need a place for people to, you know, gather it's like obviously gathering at someone's home or something is like a good idea but having a place to actually you know let's go meet up at the broken tower guild to get ourselves organized before going yeah. to something doesn't it that sound food, more it has enchanter it has villagers we need to do villaging stuff yeah so it's an all-in-one location um, and this the second inspiration is the relic music disc oh the reason i say that because when if you listen to the disc It reminds me of an old-fashioned RPG game. It's like, listen to this music. I do love chiptune. Like, just like, just imagine hearing this like music around this area. Kind of reminds you like of an old game, like you know, meeting at a tavern in an old game or visiting a guild. This music. Mm -hmm. It's this very literally Zelda, sort mm -hmm. of. Uh... Yeah, what is it, ruin Fire any types of games that, like, you know, old games that people just feel nostalgic to. So what, you're going to have a couple of these just playing all over the village on repeat? Um, 
Not really. More like if anyone's interested, I will put a few. Uh, I will put a place. There will be some sections with jukeboxes that will be in the future because I need to put per perfect locations for them. And I will try to get discs, like of uh, all any type which anyone is interested in. Well, hey, can somebody still get to here and start using it right away? Yeah, there. It is uh, the P Home Broken Tower Guild. Well, hey, is there any uh, closing statements you want to tell the audience or anything? All I got to say is I really hope people love the effort and inspiration I made in this place because I wanted to do something very interesting that maybe people would like and maybe even hypothetically gave me get inspired because I built a guild on Retriever, but Maybe someone in, gets inspired on what I did and build one on Sheltie so they have a, ga a better gathering point on Sheltie or something like that, or even maybe make more on Retriever. Like, right, I right would in love the other to... directions. Yeah, because this is more north. Maybe someone wants to make somewhere more south or east or even further north, right? Right, right. So all I got to say is I hope, I hope people love my area and maybe get inspired to maybe consider doing something like what i did or even something even different very cool well hey thank you so much for uh meeting with us and we can't wait to see the finished product it looks super cool what an awesome build from what i hear canadian will be building some more guilds around the server so look out for those on your explorations sugar 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 choo -choo! What those two are trying to say is that it's time to hear from the transport networks about what they've been up to this month. Hey, cyber dogs, time to talk trains, stations, and everything in between. It's time for the monthly SRN segment. What's been going on this month? We've had a bit of a change-up of leadership this month. After almost eight years, Darpar Noir has retired as line manager after the opening of Retriever North Station on the 21st of September. Darp's been a driving force for the SRN since Survival 1, and frankly, without his hard work in the early years, the SRN would probably not be here today. We can't thank Darp enough for all the work he's put in this project. Happy retirement, Darp. We'll all miss you. Taking Darp's place as Retriever Northline Manager will be Arctic2446, who has already made stellar progress on the line, which already has a whopping 10 stations planned out. Termite Station, the Northline second, is almost ready to open. So watch this space. Next line is to uh, Green Valley, the fourth uh, station on the Healthy East Line. Elsewhere on the main lines, XP Modder opens at the 4th and 5th stations on the Shouty East Line this month, finally connecting Chixie's Stone Exchange to the rest of the network, with a stop off at Green Valley 2. Hopping over to Reti South, High Voltage Station is nearly complete too, courtesy of Montenegro and Xam Baka, nearly ready to open once the line gets built. The fourth station on Shelty South is slowly coming together at the Gamester's base as well. Elsewhere on Retriever, Maddie Monster and Tiny Bricks have finished Fusha Junction Station, meaning the rest of the southwest section of the ring line can be opened up once the line is finished. Another branch line to open this month was the line to Taimo, with the line being built by Montenegro and the station by Tangle of Trees. Bank of Ember has been hard at work building California more railway station on the server too. In the far northwest of Retriever, Lord Arki has completed Lockwire station. It is safe to say lots of the server branch lines are really shaping up. Expect some opening soon. Finally, we want to give a huge thank you to Zetace, who has been leading the charge to copy over the SRN HQ with a great team of helpers including Alednor89, Arctic2446, Zambaka, Slomo1994 and It's the Creeper. The whole area is really starting to come together in survival. That's all we've got for this month, Cyberdox. We'll see you again next time to give you the latest in stations and rail lines. But for now, this is the SRN team signing off. Choo choo! Oh no! <laughs>
Nars, Nars, what's wrong? It's the end of the episode. I love the CD in it so much. <laughs> no, don't worry. We'll have another episode to do next month. Probably at the last minute, like we always do. <laughs> yeah, I guess we will. I can't wait. Until then, goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.